I'm Madison Wade. Here is a look at what's happening today. A fire that started in a dumpster spread to a commercial building in South Sacramento this morning. This all happened just before 430 at the quality tune up auto shop on Fruit Ridge and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Investigators say that fire started in the dumpster, then spread to the building. They don't know yet how that fire originally started. And Uber is now testing a feature that could allow their drivers to charge up to five times the fare set by the company. Sacramento is one of those testing markets. The idea here is in large part in an attempt to fight back against AB5. The company says this change shows drivers are independent contractors and not employees because it gives drivers more flexibility. Drivers will also be able to charge less than Uber's surge rates during high demand times. The pilot program starts next week. And California is looking into whether to label one of the most common drugs a carcinogen. A panel of scientists are looking at evidence of whether acetaminophen can cause cancer. The drug is used in more than 600 medications, including Tylenol, Excedrin, and Sudafed. Alcohol and coffee are some other things to be considered here as carcinogens. And some studies reported an increased amount of this in some types of cancers, while others did not. Now to check your weather, here's meteorologist Monica Woods. Tracking showers throughout the day, very light in intensity. It wasn't anything that was complete washout, just kind of nuisance showers moving through the region, the foothills and up in this year, it's been snow. You can see along 80 and 50 north of uh, basically Blue Canyon and then off to the east of Blue Canyon and Pollock Pines. We are looking at areas of snow south of Highway 50, Bear Valley, Kirkwood. It's been snow, Arnold, Murphy's, Jackson. It's been rain for today. Again, not a whole lot of accumulation. We're talking less than a tenth of an inch throughout much of the valley for the foothills, about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of rain. Highs today, though, warm to the mid 50s to low 60s. So it's a rather warm and mild storm for us this time of year. 50s up top for the foothills and then for the Sierra 38 degrees for South Lake Tahoe. As far as our future weather tonight, we clear out of the rain and the snow by tomorrow morning. We're back to the dry weather. Then we start tracking our next weather system. It's out in the Pacific right now, but it starts to edge our way as we start wrapping up what's been a short work and school week. Onto that 10 day planner. You can see we've got a planned out here. Friday, mostly a dry day. Saturday, a chance of some showers. Better chance of that rain on Sunday through early Monday. Ice will be much more mild than this forecast, though. We'll be topping out near 60. Now you're all caught up on what's happening today. Heavy rains and snow are finally on their way. Stay up to date with the latest in severe weather, as well as breaking news and traffic with the ABC 10 app. Available now in the App Store or Google Play. ABC 10, wherever you are.